to there. So, anyways, we've got just set drunk cannon. We're going to set this up in the game, and we're going to copy it. And notice the parameters. They always default looking like this. Now, another thing you have to do is when you copy the stuff over to the, the new script hook, version 5 it doesn't have all these set up correctly. So, this is the new format right here. You notice this down here, it says invoke native add score, and this just shows native invoke. This was actually, this was still in there, but the native part, this kind of, this stuff, actually this one, I'm sorry, looking at the wrong one here. This doesn't, it doesn't have the native stuff, so you have to kind of change it. So what I do is I just go in here, basically, and I just take some of the stuff out. So, notice, you're, you still got this in here. If you look at the actual, the area where the initialization is going, like here's an example of one I think I have right here. Right here's an example of one. So this is the actual if you hold your mouse over the game you can get the description. This will show the actual um I forget what they call that, but this is one of the the arguments that you would have in it. And then this these are the parameters for it basically. So anyways going back to where we were. Set drunk cam. We would backspace this up until the point where you would start, which would actually be right there, at, I believe, at the invoke. Let me double check that here. So the invoke native, yeah, you would put it right there, and you would type in native, underscore, take out this little quote there, then you go over here, you take out the second quote, notice you're going to be copying and emulating what you already have up here, so you're just going to look at this one and see exactly how it looks, and you're going to duplicate that down here, so I already got it kind of memorized, so you just type in script void and then you close it and then you open this one and you just get rid of the comma so that's kind of how the version 5 or patch 5 script hook works so now we've got one successfully created inside the game this is a, one of the the natives we can use from the header file and we just go back over to the the main file remember it's custom fire thread.cpp and we would add it in here I wish I had kept track of how long this video was because they're limited to 10 minutes but I'm gonna guess I started at 140. It kind of limit myself to maybe um, a few more minutes here. We'll just make this one a little short and I'll make some of the other ones longer. This is just a simple example anyway. So anyways, we go back in here. And another thing I wanted to show you too, I still got my, my search window up. You can use this little box drop down here which will always appear over to the right in C++ and you can use it to instantly go to any functions you've already defined in, in the game which is pretty fancy. So if you go down here, for example, I'm looking for the example of where I have my bodyguard mod stored at. I think I have it under bodyguard. Right here, uh, bodyguard mod. Go right there, and this is where we're going to put it. And I've got some crazy stuff I've been doing in here. There's a lot of my um, commenting out because I've been playing with stuff. And again, this is a beta function, so I, I use this one to test a lot of stuff. I don't actually use this one inside the game, although I can add it in a menu and I can just delete it if, if I want to change or if I decide not to use it. So, getting back to our example, we put in the drunk. So I would just stick it down here somewhere. I actually probably want to stick it before the crate, because this is actually going to create the female in the game. And I'm not here to explain any of this this function this time. I'm just here to show how our new uh, thing is going to work for set drunk cam. So notice when you hit the open parentheses it's going to highlight down at the bottom and show you a little help box here of what you what it's asking for and how many parameters you can almost look here without even going back of course if you need to go back which i'm known to go back you can go back here and look and see you got one two and three and we also need to change these too you don't want to leave them as script any like for example i'm going to guess at this one and say true that is drunk cam and this one will probably be an unknown because we don't know what it is yet it didn't tell us in, remember, back here. It didn't show it in here anywhere, so. And remember, everything you do here on the left, you have to do on the right. So, taking out, of course, the first part of the instance of the object. And this one would be, just follow what you put in for the other one. So, actually, I put true on this one, but I actually did this one. Um, I forgot to do something else here. Let's see, actually, this would be... Um, my fault. I'm thinking I'm inside the main compiler already. This is actually a B8, um, what to say, drunk. And B8 represents 1 or 0. 1 if it's true, 0 if it's false. So if you go over here, it's going to put in either 1 or 0, which we can set up in the actual, inside the actual code. And go over here and just type this one as unknown 1. So notice everything from here 
matches in relation to everything that's on this side. Always keep that in mind. And then we go back to the main file here, and then now we know what to put in. So in this example, do I have pet already initialized? If I do, I can use it. If not, I probably need to add it. Pet's right there, so I can use pet. If you try to initialize it outside of the function, and it's not either a static variable, or it's not actually a global variable, you'll get an error message. In this one, I'm just going to put uh, true, because I've already initialized it for true. And the second value, since it's unknown, we could just do 0, 1, or whatever. And then that's basically that. And this is um, hopefully going to turn on a drunk cam, but I've had some issues trying to get this one to work. But I think I'll play with it later. But that kind of gives you a startup of where to go. And one other quick thing before we go here, I wanted to show you the Grand Theft Auto forums. This is pretty cool, and I've learned a lot of my information here. Just go to uh, gtaforums.com. Scroll down here in the list, look over here to the left. Under GTA Modding, you're going to look for IV Coding. Click on that. Takes a second here. My computer's a little slow. And then down in this list here, you're looking for GTA IV, which is usually very close in the middle here. If sometimes it appears at the top, depending on how many people are posted. And you click on GTA IV REL SRC C++ Script Hook. And this is actually where you could post a lot of your questions you have. Like, for example, people who have questions about the game. It'll all be inside here. People showing their latest establishments and latest mods, things they've done in the game. It'll actually all show right in here. So I always go back down here and click on last to try to catch up to where everybody else is and what's the latest um, messages going on and you can kind of just read through them and of course their name's over here. And this just shows somebody having and if you want to go back of course just like the internet you just click on the links to go backward and forward. But sometimes these people will include tips and stuff and they'll teach you stuff that you might not learn on these other sites like about the get car speed vector and such they're kind of giving you some information but I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short because I know they're kind of limited. Um, Please continue to subscribe and give me some comments. I'm still waiting on people to give me some comments so we can start talking together. Have a good night.